Hi again, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Birschback, along with Chief Scientist Carl Nelson at the Imagination Station. And we have a lighter, big long stick, a balloon, some chemicals, face masks, goggles. Seems like we're dealing with some combustion or flammable things today, some fire. Absolutely. Carl, take it away. We're going to do some combustion today. And we're going to start with uh, something really simple. Uh, most people think combustion requires three things, and it generally does. Fuel, yeah. flame, and oxygen. So we have oxygen in the air, a flame here. Okay. And I'm going to let you go ahead and do a classic demo that we do here at the Science Center. Okay. Maybe step over here with me a bit. All right. um, we're going to combine flame here with some fuel of hydrogen gas in that balloon and oxygen in the air. So go ahead and just okay. bring the candle right underneath the balloon, and we're going to see a classic demonstration of combustion. Okay, plug in my ear. I know it's going to go boom. Just bring it right up. Touch the balloon with it. Nice. Wow. All right. So that's your classic combustion, fuel, flame, and oxygen. But one thing people sometimes forget is that there's a fourth component that can cause combustion or contribute, and that is a chemical reaction. This is potassium permanganate. Okay, so Jay, go ahead and pour that into the little crucible there. It's a strong oxidizer. It has four oxygen atoms. Uh, for each molecule. And our fuel we're going to add is a little bit of glycerin. This is the stuff they add into uh, cosmetics to make it smooth and creamy and whatnot. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we're going to add just a little bit right in the center of that potassium permanganate. We're going to move it away a bit as well. All right. Key thing here, you're not adding flame to this. There's no flame here. What's going right. to happen is the permanganate is going to oxidize the glycerin. The temperature is going to get very, very hot hot enough to burst it into flame, and okay. let's just try it and see what happens. Right. It's happening, but and there it, we go. Here we go. Okay. We're getting a little steam coming out. That's water vapor, and we get this beautiful purple flame from the potassium in the potassium permanganate. Okay? Very cool. So we get a little bit there. Now, what I want to do, and you can see it's just it's glowing red hot inside yeah. there. We don't want to touch that crucible. It's very, very hot. Okay. I thought we'd amp it up a bit, though. I got the same thing, a little potassium permanganate and some magnesium. Okay. We're going to add the magnesium powder together. I'm going to give it a little stir. Here, I'll let you go ahead and stir that up. Mix it up with our stir bar there. We're going to do the same sort of thing. Now, this time, I'm expecting a much more exothermic reaction because the magnesium is going to contribute to this as well. Now, like I said, this is going to be a lot more energetic. So just to be safe, let's go ahead and put our uh, face shields on. Yes. We're going to add the permanganate. Once we add it, let's step to the side. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, the, uh, the little cup is gone, Carl. Our little crucible is gone, and we're left with uh, a wow. glowing pile of ashes here, a little bit of the permanganate and some of the glycerin in there. Amazing. So a combustion without flame, combustion with flame, with flame. Uh, it's, it's science. Yep. I love it. Absolutely. Very cool. Very bright, too. <laughs> and very loud earlier. All right. For Carl Nelson, chief scientist here at uh, Imagination Station, I'm chief meteorologist Jay Birschback. That was Imagine It. Ah, I looked at the trap, Ray. Here's Dave Holmes with sports.